Hello friends welcome back to Digitalk in this video i am going to explain you about the different kind of log files that we have in weblogic server okay and this is very important to understand uh, the different kind of log files what is the location of log file how we can view the log files how we can change the location of log files how we can maintain the size of log file how and how we can do the rotation of log files and this is very important specifically in terms of when you are working in a support weblogic support Okay, so in this video, I will explain you how, what are the different type of log files in WebLogic server, how we can view the log files from the console, okay, as well as apart from uh, looking from the file system as well, okay, how we can change the location of file name or probably we can change the name of location log files if required, how we can change the size of log files and how we can enable the rotation of log files, whether it is a server log file, domain log file, or subsystem log files, or maybe the node manager log file. So the first thing when we talk about the log files, apart from Node Manager, we have two important log files in WebLogic Server. The one is the server log file and second is the domain log file. So server log file is specifically related to your admin server and managed servers, right? So in WebLogic Server, we have one admin server and then we have multiple managed servers and we deploy our applications across our managed servers, right? And apart from that, uh, your managed servers coordinate with the admin server to sync the configurations or uh, to uh, uh, for the end-to-end -end management cycle, management of your uh, complete domain, right? So, so when we talk about the log files, okay. So one we have the server log file. So when I am saying server log file, then there would be a log file for your admin server, and there would be a corresponding log files for managed server. That means for each and every server, we will have a different kind of a log files. Okay, and apart from that, we have a domain, right? And inside the domain, we have all the resources we have inside the domain, including your admin server and managed servers. Okay, so when we talk about the domain log file, then it is a centralized file, or you can say a central domain log file, okay, which is also exists along with your admin server log files, right? So when we talk about the different locations of server log files, okay, so for each and every server, whether it is an admin server or managed server, okay, for uh, there would be a folder with name servers inside your domain. Okay, so whatever the, the path of your domain inside that you will have a folder with name servers and inside servers, you will have a different folders with the name of your managed servers. That means for each and every managed server, you will have a different folder there, which contain a lot of other information or directories as well, apart from the logs. Okay, but since this video is specifically on the logs, I will tell you about the logs only. Okay, so inside each and every server, go inside the server and then you will see a folder with name logs. Okay, and this logs folder will contain all the important log files with this respect to that particular uh, server, whether it is an admin server, whether it is a managed server. So each and every server will have their own uh, folder with server name and then there would be a logs folder and inside that it will create the, the different kind of logs and the main log files would be created with the name of managed server or with the name of admin server with the dot log extension if you are uh, managed admin server name it's admin server then it will create a log file with the name admin server dot log if your managed server name is ms1 then it will create a folder with main name ms1 and inside that there will be a folder with name logs and inside that there would be a log file with name ms1 dot log that means with the name of server dot log so this is the name con naming convention of log files and the location of their uh, server logs. Okay. So apart from that, uh, you will have a domain log file, a centralized log file. So apart from writing the logs to your domain, you are uh, uh, admin server, or you can say about your uh, complete domain. Okay. Write the logs in a centralized file as well that we call it a domain log file. And this domain log file with, will be with the name of your domain dot log. Okay, and this will file will also be inside your admin server logs folder, right? So go to your domain servers and the name of your admin server and then inside the logs, you will see a file with the name domain.log. The domain is the name of your domain, right? So there are the different severities of the log that is writing uh, that is written to your log files. For example, critical notice and then apart from that, sometimes we have to enable the debugging as well, right, for uh, for the troubleshooting purpose. So for that, you have a debug and then so by default, when we talk about the severity level for which we are web logic server, write the logs to web logic server, it is called notice or higher. So any log which is uh, defined uh, above the notice or higher, okay, will be written to your log files. If you wanted to change this to some different value, then we can do from the admin console as well that I will show you in the next screen. 
ओके तो दिस इज अबाउट योर सर्वर लॉक फाइल एंड डोमेन लॉक फाइल एंड द लोकेशन ऑफ योर लोकेशन एंड नेमिंग कन्वेंशन ऑफ योर ऑल द लॉक files okay so if you wanted to change the severity of your uh, domain log files okay then for that you have to look, go to your uh, your admin console click on the domain name okay and then after that you click on the servers okay and then click on your server name logging and then go to advanced tab and inside advanced tab you will see a domain log broadcaster section and inside that you want if you want then you can change the severity of your logs that is going written to your domain log files okay and if you wanted to change the, the the domain file name or the rotation and location okay uh, you want to change the name of your domain log file you want to change uh, the size of your domain log file or if you want to take uh, want to change the rotation of your log files by uh, after which size your domain file should be rotated or you wanted to rotate it by the time at a specific time or you wanted to rotate it by the size okay and if you want a direct separate directory where you want the rotated file should be moved once it is rotated it should be moved to different file uh, folder location that you all can configure from this option so click on your domain name in weblogic console click on configuration and then logging the first one is your log file name second is the rotation by it is by default by size if you want to change is by time click uh, on the drop box and then select the time and then you can select the particular time uh, at what time you want to rotate your log files if you want the rotated log file should be moved to a separate directory then you can mention the path in log file rotation directory otherwise it will be written in the same default path which will be your admin server logs directory right and rotate log file on a startup if you will uh, click on this tab that means every time you are going to restart your server okay it will rotate the domain log file if this is disabled then the, the domain file will not get rotated during the reboot okay and the timestamp of uh, the uh, contents in domain log file may be differ okay maybe because maybe you will feel that some of the content which is uh, written later it is showing in advance okay so that the you can say about a sequence of the logs may differ in your domain log files okay and that is because sometimes as i said that your managed server contact your admin server for synchronization right and sometime it is happened that your managed server would not able to contact your admin server okay and in that case when your later it is able to cater or it, it is able to contact the admin server then it try to write all the logs okay so there would be a difference in the sequence of the logs in your domain log file and because all the servers are writing to the domain log file okay so there would be a multiple logs in 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 your log files and the time stamp may be differ okay in that case so apart from server log file we have a subsystem log file so what is subsystem because when in 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 weblogic server apart from our uh, admin server and managed server we configure different kind of resources as well like we configure the data source we configure the jms we deploy our applications so all of the, these called as a subsystem okay and all these subsystems also write the logs in the log file right whenever we do the deployment in case of any problem or either it is not a problem then it write all the logs to your log files about the deployment status right and then when we create a data source and during the startup of your managed servers the data source get initialized and all the content or the logs written to your uh, log file so that means apart from server logs there would be a subsystem log as well which also written in your server log files okay and if you wanted to change the server log file name and rotation and location like for admin server log file for managed server log file then go to your admin console click on servers and after that click on logging so once you will click on servers and then logging tab inside logging tab click on general okay and inside general the same configuration that we had just couple of some time back we have seen for the domain log it is same for the server log as well the name of your log file location okay in my case this uh, i have clicked on my managed server with name demo server 1 so it is showing log file name as logs demo server 1.logs so why it is showing only logs is it will by default take the location prefix location as your domain and then the name of your managed server okay after that you will have a folder called logs and the name of your log file with the name of managed server again if you want to change the rotation of your log file then you can select either by size or by time if you are selecting by size then you have to give the rotation file size so in my case it is 500 kb right so it will be that means it is going to rotate the uh, the the server log files while it will reach to 500 kb of size okay if you are taking a time instead of the size then you have to specify the time at what time you want your log files to be rotated limit the number of retained files so how many rotated file you want to retain okay if you wanted to retain only seven log files okay then you can men mention as files retain seven so any log file after seven will get be overwritten okay that means only seven backup log files 
will be retained okay and again if you want the log files after the backing after the rotation log file should be moved to a different directory then you can specify the path here okay and if you want to rotate the log files on starter that means when you are starting your managed server at that time you want to rotate your log file then you can again check this option okay and what is the use of log file rotation directory is sometimes because as i said by default rotated file also plays inside inside the same log directory okay so there would be a lot lot of content inside the same directory and to maintain it okay uh, most of the time what we do is we create a separate folder maybe inside the same logs folder with name as archive and then we specify that location here so that the rotated log file should move to in the different location or different path okay if you wanted to view the server or subsystem log files okay so one option is you can directly log into server go to your path whatever i have set some time back okay inside your domain and then you can view the log file in vi editor or or with the help of view or with the any editor right second option if you wanted to see it from the console as well then log into your admin console go to your diagnostic tab after diagnostic click on log files once you will click on log files it will show you all the different kind of log files that you have in this in your domain either it is a domain log it is a server log it is a http logs data source log okay so all the logs are now mentioned are there if you wanted to see any particular log file then select that particular option okay for example i have selected the log file okay then click on view so once you will click on view it will show you the all the complete details of logs with the message id okay and then if you wanted to see particular message in detail then select the particular message okay and then click on view it will show you the complete details of that particular message okay and then if you wanted to uh, see the node manager log files okay or uh, or or you wanted to rotate the node manager log files okay then there would be a separate option for that one because as i as i explained in my previous uh, lectures as well that node manager is a separate utility that come with a weblogic server right uh, for remotely management of your managed servers right so there would be a separate log file for your node manager and there would be different configurations of your node manager log files okay so apart from your server log file which is formed with the name of your managed server dot log if you are starting your managed servers from the console that means with the help of node manager then your node manager will also create a separate log files for your managed server with the extension dot out the location would be same your domain servers the name of folder with the name of your server name then logs and then the name of your managed server or admin server but the extension would be dot out so if you are seeing the dot out extension log file in your logs folder that means it is the log file that is created by the node manager that means whenever you started your uh, managed servers or admin server with the help of node manager from the console it create a separate log file with dot out extension so that is the server log file apart from that you have a node manager as well right so that there would be a log file of the node manager as well right so for that one you will have a uh, name a log file name with node manager dot log okay and the location of this would be domain and then your node manager so so inside your domain you will see a folder with name node manager and once you will go inside your node manager then you will see a file with name node manager dot log and this is the log file for your node manager which you can use some time for troubleshooting of your node manager when your node manager is not coming up or maybe certain due to other reasons you can see the logs of node manager from console as well you can log into your admin console click on machines then click on your machine name after that click on monitoring and then node manager log there you will see the logs of your node manager as well okay now important property when we talk about the rotation of your node manager log file okay so first thing what you have is is you have a log file name okay so this is the parameter that define the name of and location of your log file okay so log file is a parameter okay the name of log file is node manager dot log second is your log level info okay so there are a lot of info uh, there are as i said for managed server you have a different severity of the log similarly for node manager as well you have a different severities for the logs okay and you wanted to change the severity of the logs then you can change it from here by default it is info okay third is log limit which is by default zero okay so log limit is the maximum size of your node manager log file so what, what you want what would be the maximum size of your node manager after that so that it can uh, be rotated or whatever the action you are going to take okay so zero is that means it is disabled so there wouldn't be any size of your uh, of your load, node manager log file it can go up to unlimited of space unlimited of size okay so by default it is zero 
okay and then do you have a log count okay so log count which is by default it is one so log count is maximum number of log files to create when log limit is exceeded so that means this parameter only applicable once you are enabling the log limit for example i have given the log limit as 1 gb and i have given the log count as 5 okay so so maximum number of log files to create when log file limit exceeded so that means if i am giving the log count as 5 and the log limit size of 1 gb that means it will create the backup file or the rotated file of 1 gb each and in total five log files would be there and after five log files it will be overwritten so that means it will only maintain the five rotated log files if i will give the log count equal to equal to 5 and this parameter will only be applicable once you are enabling the log limit parameter okay and since your native version enabled is true okay so if this parameter is true which is by default okay then if you and if you want to enable the rotation of your node manager log file that means you are enabling the log, log limit parameter and then you are specifying the log count with some value okay this will only work when you will add a parameter to your jvm and which is hyphen d weblogic dot nm service dot rotation enabled equal to true that means if you wanted to enable the rotation of your log files that means only enabling the log log limit equal to zero and log count equal to the number of count you want will not going to help you unless you are going to add this particular parameter to your log file uh, manage servers or admin server jvm okay so this is all about the log file and log file management how we can maintain and view and then uh, see or change the different parameters of the log files of servers domain and node manager okay and if you feel this uh, lecture interesting okay then stay tuned i will come up with few more interesting videos soon